Hi guys, Dan Hendrickson here at Talkie Golf Club. We are on the short game area. I have Matt on camera. Hello everyone. Matt and I are gonna do a little series for you. So we're gonna do sh four short videos. We're gonna do some like awkward lies around the greens. We're gonna get some views from what how I feel the shot is gonna be played. I'm also gonna have a little look at how Matt is gonna play that shot. We're gonna hit downhill lie, uphill lie. We're gonna have a uh, ball below our feet, ball above our feet, and just see how we both look at those shots individually. Balls down, downhill to start. Downhill to start, should we? Not much green. Well, what flag should we go for? I think this red one. Okay, because this on is because we got no, we got nowhere to go, have we? We no. have to, we have to play it to this particular hole. I, I suppose we've got a bit of wriggle room over on the right-hand side, but anything past the pin and running away, there's a bunker behind there, so this can be a really, really difficult shot. So talk me through how you would play it. So number one, I pick the most lofted club okay. that I've got. What loft is it? So I've got a, a, fifth, a 60 degree. Now I say that, but ultimately I'm gonna use, I'm gonna look at the lie first. Yeah. So when I play this shot, I'm gonna assess the lie and then I will decide what type of club I'm gonna play. But in this particular situation, I've got a, we got a decent lie, which means I can get as much, whatever club I kind of want to get onto it. So for this shot, not a lot of green to work with. Got a slight downhill lie, as you can see there, and then it works up. So I've got to make sure I carry it probably over this little mound that's in front of us and then not a lot of green to work with. And then again, if I get it past the pin, it's gonna run off. So I need to throw it kind of onto the green, I feel. Okay, so set up. I'm gonna move this club. I'm gonna add a little bit of loft. So I'm, in order to do that, I'm not gonna set the, the, the club the handle back to get loft. I'm just gonna feel like I can open it up a little bit. Okay. I don't wanna open it up too much because I don't want the bounce to get involved too much with the ground on this particular shot. Cause it's really, really easy to catch the ground before the ball and then you'll either duff it a little bit or catch it thin and run through the green. Okay, so you twisting the face, is that gonna do anything with how it's pointing towards the target? If you think about it, if I twist that face slightly, what I call to the right hand side or slightly open, that blade is now gonna wanna point over to my right hand side. With the swing, I'm gonna sort of almost counteract that a little bit because I'm gonna try and feel like I'm gonna swing a little bit more out to in okay. across the ball just to accommodate for that club face being a fraction open. Now ball position, this is a good one. So a lot of people sort of, I feel get a bit confused with ball position. In order to get loft, they tend to sort of try and feel like they want to push the ball position forward. Problem you get with that is as soon as I start to drift back, that club is starting to rise up too much. So as it's coming in and I sort of lean back with it, that I'm really starting to see that leading edge now getting towards the ball, which is, you've got to be really careful. So a lot of people can then tend to catch the ground a little bit before the ball and then it bounces into the ball, yeah. or they tend to just thin it. Thins, fats, all sorts, yeah. yeah. So for me, I have the ball position just inside my left heel. So it's about, what's that, Matt? Can you see that? It's about, yeah, I mean, like, I, like, ball position's a funny one for me. Like loads of people go by their feet, but yeah. I always re relate it to my upper body because yeah. I always try and get it on or behind my sternum. So yeah, it's a tough one to say. And if I change the camera angle here, like it's going to be it's different gonna feel like it's moved, for everywhere yeah. where we go, basically, so, if I just move there. Okay, so for me, when I'm looking over and talking about a sternum point, I am actually trying to feel like I'm trying to get my shoulders a little bit with the slope. Yep. Okay, and that just pushes my sternum more on top of the ball and then I'm going to follow the slope. I'm not going to lift it. I'm just going to let the club work down the slope with me a little bit here. Oh, lovely. So your first shot, that's not that bad. That's not bad. I'd be a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what what club have you selected? So I'm most loft as well, 58. We haven't got much green to work with. It's all downhill, so I need the loft to get that ball up and land in soft. Like you could picture this in a few ways. You've pitched that on the green, I think there. You could literally land it slightly shorter with a bit lower loft and make the semi rough slow it down a little bit. Yeah. Um, but I see it similar to you landing this on the green because I've got the loft and the good lie. Yeah. I like what you said that if you've got a good lie, like your options are pretty much endless. Yeah. Um, if you've got a rubbish lie, then you might have to assess bouncing the ball in different areas and selecting different clubs. Very similar with setup too. I'm just trying to replicate what I do on a flat lie. So don't be scared to exaggerate weight going this way. I also like to drop my right foot out the way. 
so I've got the option to keep the club nice and low to the ground all the time. Okay, let me just have a quick look at that. People that are opening their body up and swinging across like you do, I, tr I find they try and pick the club up a little bit too quick. Yeah and then strike becomes a bit of an issue. Yeah. So I like to try and keep my leg further back to allow my club to stay nice and low to the ground all okay. the time. Yeah. And I'm also doing that because like you, when I twist, instead of correcting that aim of the club by going this way, yeah. I'm lowering my handle to adjust that adjust lock. It. So it points to the right by twisting it and then lowering it points it at you again. Love that. So we've actually got two very Two kind different of ways. different ways of achieving this, haven't we? Yeah, and I'll try and pop it closer to you so my way's right, you know? <laughs> oh, it is a hard shot, isn't oh. it? Oh, nice. That, that was a bit too high, that popped up a little bit too quick. But that stopped really quickly, good didn't it? efforts. They are two good efforts, we'll take those. We? Yeah, so there we go, we've par got putts. two par putts. So we'd like to see, we'd probably give each other those, yeah, wouldn't we? Yeah, that walk on. Um, so just a couple of different ways there to try and help you with that ball being slightly downhill, um, especially around the greens. Two very simple ways of doing it, different ways. Uh, but let us know how you get on. Have you been testing these around the greens? Do you struggle with this type of shot? Um, hopefully this will help you, but put your comments down below. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll move on to the next series, shall we?